Welcome back, guys. It's the Brothers Geek Out Podcast. It's issue 172. Uh, hope you guys are well and safe. A massive shout out to everybody who 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 comes in onto the show and uh, shows us love. I know last week's podcast uh, got a lot of comments. Thank you so much. Uh, shout out to everybody. Shout out to Mr. Dwayne Anderson because he dropped in there as well and he was dropping some comments as well. So thanks for that, bro. Uh, always good to see you on there. He thought we were live last week because the video said it's live, isn't it? And he was commenting and then he was texting me. He said, and I'm working, yeah? I, I was already preloaded and I'm working. And he's like, oh, you bastard. How come you're not texting me back? And, I'm like, and, he, and he's sitting there <laughs> waiting for a response. <laughs> I'm like, bro, that was filmed like two days ago, bro. This is just... A... <laughs> bless him, bless him, bless him. Anyway, he made me laugh, bro. But uh, yeah, all good. Massive thank you to everybody. Make sure you're following us on the Brothers Geek Out podcast on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok you'll get our clips and what we get up to it's been an exciting week as well we did get up quite quite a bit uh but yeah how you been Jima? i mean good i was waiting for you to announce the new channel to oh yeah sorry i about forgot yeah. all right guys <laughs> uh as things change and a lot of changes happen at the moment where uh we have our own official youtube channel now the brothers geek out podcast uh the link will be in the description uh we're gonna do the last I think is it was it uh, 18 episodes on Kibla Ahmed art page, my page, uh, after episode 200, which will be on this page, but it will be on the new page after 200. We'll continue with the Brothers Geek Out podcast page. So, excuse me, links in the description, guys. Go subscribe. If you enjoy our content, if you enjoy us geeking out, then please go subscribe to that channel. Uh, I've already uploaded one video on there, which is the our YouTube intro. And uh, yeah, go go click subscribe, comment, dislike, whatever you guys enjoy doing the most. Go check that out. Uh, thank you for the love already, because uh, Instagram and like TikTok is going really well. So I want to say a massive thank you to you guys. So yeah, uh, links in the description, guys. Make sure you check it out. G man, cool. Yeah, I've been good, bro. I've been good. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone. Please do go subscribe to that channel, man. All the content's gonna be moved over to there. But yeah, I've been good, man. Just been chilling. Uh, just been busy, man. As we were talking before, mm. as we went live, man, just been busy with work and life stuff. As you said, being an adult, which sometimes is annoying. Um, <laughs> but just got loads of shit to do, man. And once it's all done, I can have a little chill. Trying to spend August because August is a bit of a quiet month for work, so I can mm. try and spend August to kind of sort everything out um and then just chill man yeah i've been working out singapore still on lockdown i booked my vaccine because i think i told you last week i have no choice now right yeah Singapore yeah. saying to go to the gym to go to restaurants whatever you gotta be vaccinated so literally without that you can't do shit so anyway i booked that like i said i'm not anti-vax but if i had a choice i definitely wouldn't take it but it is what it is but uh yeah got that sorted and um she we've just been watching comedy movies man yesterday we watched super bad just now we're watching pineapple express just going through all the uh the Jeff Seth Logan movies yeah those those but, but they can't make those well pineapple no, what do you call it um super bad you i don't think you can make something like that like that today man some of the shit they say in that movie is hilarious bro and just so wrong um that it's weird because you feel like idea. you know movies won't have that creative freedom no more i hope they do man because it's so funny man like the dialogue in that movie is just hilarious, bro. When he's talking about the fake ID and he calls himself McLovin, and he's like, he's either McLovin or Muhammad. <laughs> bro, the shit cracks me up. Bro. And he's telling him it's the most common name in the world. <laughs> oh, shit. That's actually a good, that was a good one. I remember when we watched that in cinema, me and Habib, and we were going to cinema to watch Tarantino. No, 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 sorry. We watched Death, Tarantino's, was it called Death Race? Death or something Death like? Note, Death Death. No, no, Death Race. Jeff, one with the car. With yeah, Kurt yeah, Russell. With Kurt Russell, yeah. Yeah, so I remember we were going to, we watched that, sorry, and then we're in the cinema, and then we were lining up, I remember this clearly, and we were just talking about, oh, man, Death Race, it was, it was so, it was great, and Tarantino made, he made that intentionally to be, make like a, a B-class movie, right? Remember mm. the way he filmed? But I remember we just found it a bit boring because there, was, there wasn't much going on. So we were just talking about it. We were lined up for Super Bad, and we were just talking about it. And then a couple behind us was like, Oh, really? Is it that bad? And we were like, look, man, it's Tarantino. You should definitely watch it. Uh, but, you know, it is a bit boring. There's so much dialogue. Blah, blah. And then we were like, we're, you know, we're going to watch Super Bad. And then I remember they watched Super Bad. So they changed their idea. And then <laughs> we came out of the movie 
we're all like the movie was freaking obviously hilarious we came out of the movie we see the same couple and they're like we're so happy that we bumped into you because that movie was just hilarious um so yeah i remember that clearly man that super bad movie was just too much and jonah hill he's just just hilarious man his, his dialogue is just jokes he's funny guy man he's good he's quick he's witty such a good actor man like could you imagine him being oscar nominated and whatnot but then oh, no. he's just funny, funny comedian guy. but mm. his acting is awesome and wolf of wall street and all those movies he's in he's freaking a talented dude bro very bro very 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 talented dude yeah, yeah man but yeah that's it bro other than that i'm trying to think what else is there that's it man that's it just trying to live my good life i guess well the best we can bro best we can best we can uh well, there's well a lot of, uh, loads has have been, been happening. Yeah, have you been watching the Olympics or anything? You follow any of that? No, I haven't, bro, man. I know that all I found out the other day is uh, uh, England won three so far. Well, I have no idea to be honest with you. Uh, I was just wondering if you've seen that because everyone's commenting and all, all that stuff. I my TV, you know what? Normally, you know when the TV like BBC would just have it on all day, I'll just leave that on. But I don't have any of those channels, so. <laughs> I just haven't paid any attention to it. But I do want to watch the sprinting. There's something about mm. sprinting. I mean, I mean, I miss the judo. I miss the taekwondo, the boxing, all the combat stuff that I really enjoy. But yeah. um, there's something about the sprinting I'm actually excited about. I'm not like, like I don't know, something about Usain Bolt and the whole sprinting thing um, that I'm excited about. But you know what? One thing about that, I, that um, Rogan talks about all the time, man, like the Olympics is literally like a billion dollar industry, right? Mm. And then the athletes get zero could you imagine that bro everyone watches it for the athletes the athletes put all the work in the world into it becoming these supreme athletes in, in their field and it's a billion dollar organization and they get zero could you imagine that how crazy is that oh no bro. even if you pay them a hundred bucks or something no you zero for for doing well that's why they get well they don't even do they get even sponsored for something? they get sponsored they get they do but the, the organization should be paying them man how crazy is that it's like um again rogan talks about it all the time at like college football and stuff you know because that's like again that's another i think that's another big billion dollar yeah, yeah. organization in the u.s and again the athletes get zero because it's just college football one it's like could you imagine that, that? Like, if you're making money off it then you should i mean especially that much man kids should be getting paid but anyway uh, there are the some funny things. Yeah, yeah. There are some funny things I've seen from the Olympics. Um, what about the yeah, drug guys? Somebody, somebody took some drugs or something, and they lose. Is it drugs? Yeah, I don't know. I've seen some controversy stuff. I'm not sure, man. Like one girl, like the gymnast or something, but I haven't really looked into exactly what it is. Like she yeah. left or she stopped doing it. I don't know what it is. I haven't really looked into it too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not crazy into it. I was just wondering. It's it's the thing right now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll be honest. It was such a busy week last week and the week before. Well, actually, it started off this week, didn't it? Or, or last weekend? It started a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I think last week. Yeah, I, I lose, bro. I, I, yeah. I barely watch TV, bro. Unless it's Peppa Pig and Blippi or Blippi, bro. Mm. <laughs> Blippi. Yeah, yeah. Blippi. Blippi. <laughs> so if I get the chance, like, it's weird, bro. The past three weeks, I don't think I've watched anything on, well, two weeks, I haven't seen anything on the screen. I've watched everything through my phone, and which I'm hating Damn. at the moment, but only because I don't have the time at the moment. And you know what? For me, nothing ever beats the, the just sitting and watching the TV. Like course, I can bro. never watch movies or anything on the phone unless it's super necessary. But other than that, I would avoid it at any 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 cases. I watched, bro. This is gonna be bad, yeah, uh, because I didn't have enough time to watch Loki, yeah, and I was watching it during work hours. I did the first three episodes on my phone. Piss. Mm, I couldn't do that. And then I, I had to do, do the rest. I saw, and then I said after, all right, you know what? I, started, I need to see this on the big screen because episode three had more uh, visual aspects to it. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm missing out on this. So I need to do that. But I've been watching, like, uh, all other, like, documentaries and stuff on my phone while I'm working, when I, when I got yeah. the chance to get some free time. And then I've been watching uh, Kim's Convenience, which is hilarious, bro. Oh, I love that. Yeah. love that. Have you seen the new season? No, no, I don't even know what I'm on. I think I'm season four at the moment. How many seasons are there? I think no, they, they just released a new one. I think it might have been five or six. Um, so, but uh, what do you call it? But yeah, I think it was like five or six. I don't know. But that show is wicked, man. You just get too attached to these characters because later on, after what, what happened with Office, you're like, oh, man, what a silly show. It's emotional. You've got to yeah. be proper attached to it. Like, you know what I mean? It was, it was, it was, yeah. deep, it was quite deep. So, uh, 
yeah, good. Dan, watching that and uh, well, something big did oh, happen this week and we took Ash out for the day. Well, the evening. So, Guy, can you talk about? It? Can you talk about it? I can talk about it, but you haven't seen it yet. I don't know when does it come out in Singapore. This week, bro. So don't say nothing spoilerish. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm seeing I'm seeing all the uh, reactions being awesome, and I'm I'm you know I'm gonna credit what well, I feel like I want to credit James Gunn. I mean, you went and watched freaking Suicide Squad. That's what we're talking about here. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, I can't wait to watch it, man. Tell me, like, like obviously non spoiler. Like, is it really? Think about it. Take a second. Take a breather. Because you know we get too excited and we're like, yes, it's the best thing in the world. But is it really just that good? Does it like pull it this way? Did it give you, you know, Guardians? You just went in without any expectations, and you came out and you're like, holy shit, that film was. Awesome. Was it kind of like that? Did James Gunn? Yeah, you're gonna you feel you, a bit of that. You're gonna already know about the the work he's already done. He knows how to use misfits and characters that are not mainstream. And he knows how to make them fucking good. Like, that's it. That's all you can say. Uh, I, I, out of all of them, the characters that he picked in this, if you if you take out Rick Flag and Harlequin, yeah, which were from the original two, and sorry, and Boomerang. Was, um, so Boomerang's in this one. Rich Flag, who's that? Who's that? Uh, Rick Flag, character. the... the uh, Oh, the soldier, the main yeah, soldier. Yeah, yeah, the soldier, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Joe, yeah, Joe, yeah, Kin yeah. Joe Kinnaman. Uh, yeah. Uh, Joe Kinnaman and Harley, yeah, Margot Robbie's character. If you take them out, yeah, every single character in this is brand new, never been on the big screen, you know, some funky characters, bro. Man, it was, he's good with that. He's good with that. It's what he, he thrives on, you know, great soundtrack, great visuals. Uh, insane, bro. Absolutely insane. Like what he does with Bloodsport, bro, just sick. Absolutely mm. sick. Now, I know originally, this is not spoilers. I know originally this was, I, I think James Gunn, he did it for Dave Batista, that character. Who, Bloodsport? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, but Dave Batista wanted to work with Zack Snyder, so he said, man. Mm. Oh, to do the zombie. No, work. nothing, nothing wrong with that. You know, he wants to work with another director. It's like you know, you you get to work with people in the industry, and you want to work with them. Uh, yeah, you get that. But but he's, he's up there. Idris, oh, but Idris Elba was sick, bro. Absolutely sick. Uh, no, that, I mean, what can I say, man? There's, there's Any, anything that Elba does is amazing, man. Yeah. Anything he touches is freaking awesome. <sighs> so he he smashed it, bro. It's good. You're gonna like it. You're gonna enjoy it. It's weird because the 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 the. For me, the reason why the trailer caught me even more is that, you know, when Amanda Waller's telling him, telling people that this guy was the one that shot uh, uh, Superman with a kryptonite bullet and put him in the ICU. If I can find it, I'm going to try and find it. But I think I, I, I think I have a gift charity who got lost. Uh, but there's an image of Bloodsport that uh, our uncle used to draw with the cape on the gun. I don't know if you remember that. Mm. And the comic book is like that. It's Bloodsport with the with the gun and uh, the capes on it, the Superman capes on it. And I was Sick. like, bloody hell. Like, it's so weird. Like, he picked a character that's already ingrained in my head because the way Sasa drew it. Yeah. If I find that cover, I'll, put, I'll pop a picture up. But anyway, absolutely awesome. They had Star Rower out in Leicester Square. Uh, we got I to saw see that. Peter Safran and Peter Capaldi. I know I said it, I, I called him Paul Capaldi in my review. My apologies, please. But the reviews, the non-spoiler reviews in my, uh, in the description box, guys. So you could check that out. Click on the link and you can check that out. But absolutely, overall, great movie. Great, best movie for me, 2021. It's probably in my top 10 comic book movies, you know. Is it that good? Is it is it because it's just enjoyable and fun to watch and like it's that? This, is, this is a comic book movie. It's like you couldn't you know, ask for anything else. Was... It's a comic book movie. You you've taken things from, you've taken history from a comic book. Basically, bro, he uses mythology really well. Mm. He uses the material, bro. Like if you watch, uh, if you watch the, the the credits, he thanks all of these comic artists and comic creators. That's amazing, bro. You know when you can get to thank the people that created these characters and he's mm. got them in the credits as well. Like, thanks to this, you know, 
bro, he knows his history. He goes, he reads, he, he looks at what he wants and he interpreted it on the big screen very well. And that's the main thing. And he did that with Guardians as well, bro. You got a mm. character full of misfits. Not many people knew about them. He believed in those characters because he's, he did his research. He knew how he wanted to represent them on the screen. And he gave us a great movie. But with this one, like the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, are going to be some of people's favorites in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, mm. and they stand out so well. Same thing with Suicide, the, the Suicide Squad, bro. I think it's it's him, man. I mean, I what I thought I like. I, I think it's just James Gunn. He's just got that. He's just got that. I don't know what it is, that vision or whatever it is, man. I'm so looking forward to it, but because I don't know. The truth is, I don't know anything about these characters except, you know, obviously Harley Quinn and whatnot, and the super basics. But I don't know anything. So I'm literally going in with the most open minded. You know what? The thing is, yeah, I I personally think from my the only part the the studio had to play a part in was. I bet he didn't want Harlequin in the movie. That's mm. just my own mm. opinion. They probably threw him in. They the said, listen, in. man, just to be, you know, on the safe side, take Harley in there because we know that's already going to get viewership. You know what I mean? So that's what the uh, Warner Brothers do. They throw big actors or whatever in there just to make sure that, like, whereas Marvel, it's, it's always been like, think about Marvel and all the content they have. Not only is the main characters exciting, but think about all the main separate characters, the second characters. Yeah. I was just thinking the other day, could you imagine like you had, um, you had, um, you know, what's his name? Is it Jimmy Woo from uh, Scarlet? Um, yeah. Uh, what'd you call it? Scarlet. But he was, yeah, he was Ant-Man. Yeah. Him, and him, and then you got like Ant-Man's, um, well, you had him and Michael, Michael Pene. Is it not right? Yeah. Him. Yeah, uh, Michael Pene, yeah. Them and then like you all those secondary characters, could you just imagine them them all coming together? And then Loki, not even Loki, Mobius. I mean, yeah. could you imagine Mobius and him? Those secondary characters are always amazing. Whereas with the Warner Brother ones, they've always kind of focused on the one. Think about the first Suicide Squad. And now I know that director recently made a comment saying that wasn't the movie that I wanted to put. And maybe he's just trying to defend himself because he's probably taking a lot of shit, uh, you know, and getting a lot of backlash because of how basic that movie was. But think about that one, man. That one is focused really on Will Smith and Margaret. Um, you know what I mean, like Harley yeah. Quinn. So it's it's it's, it's them- very. I think that it's very difficult to interpret things onto the big screen, bro. If you've got so many people, but when you got somebody like what James Gunn did with Guardians of the Galaxy and the Suicide Squad, he knows how to pick out on characters so that everybody gets their their moment. You know what I mean, and mm. that's important when you're doing a solid movie. On and you know what? Shout outs to David Ayer because he's a great director, bro. He's directed some of my favorite films, bro. He gave me End of Watch, bro. I love that movie. Big film, big that movie. movie. All the way through was a fucking adrenaline rush, you know what I mean? So, uh, David Ayer, I know it's not his movie, bro, because the studio meddled in there, bro, you know. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, the reason why you can believe that is because when you've seen the Snyder Cut, you're like, oh, okay, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I understand that they, the studio did fuck around with your one. Because, um, you know, if, if there was no Snyder Cut, then maybe you could just be like, ah, he's just trying to... You know, there, there could be that. But because we've seen the Snyder Cut and you know the studio fucked with that one, he can easily just be like, yeah, listen. And they you've seen how much they it. fucked around with, uh, what do you call it, Justice League, bro. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh from the sci-fi podcast, sci-fi and fantasy podcast. I'm so sorry. Uh, he watched it recently, yeah? And uh, he is, he was, he, his review came up on YouTube and I watched it and he was like, bloody hell. He, like, he watched between the two. He didn't give it even a chance, but he ended up going back to DC and watching all of them. And and, and he was like, fucking hell, I can't believe that. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, listen, man. Studios, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's one specific. Well, actually, I can't say one specific. Like, I know the industry, but it seems like when it comes to the stuff that we love, that whole DC universe, studio has been very much involved and, and fucked it up. It's weird. It's weird how um, Disney just kind of got it right and just left them to it. Because even with the Fox Studios and X-Men, remember how shit they were? Uh, and oh, assuming that that was the studio's visions anyway. Uh, the Spider-Man ones were never too bad, but still, it kind of went a bit iffy. But at, Fine, end, bro, but it's at the time, isn't it? I mean, they're experimenting, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but, and it like, just depends. Like Blade was, you know, Blade was a fucking brilliant movie, man. When you think about that one. Um, that started yeah, it all uh, off, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blade that doesn't get that credit. It all off, you know what I mean? It doesn't it get, get enough credit. credit. That movie no, is definitely. bloody 
awesome. That is like that's fucking one and awesome. two. One and two was sick. Three was still good, but you know it did kind of drop a little bit. But one and two, one bro was sick. Like yeah, I don't know. I don't even have to explain. Rogan talks about it all the time. He thinks it's one of the best openings of a movie of all time because it was just freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, nah. Well, I can't wait to watch it, bro. As soon as it's available to book, most probably on a Wednesday. I don't give a shit, man. Gonna go watch it. Even though it's locked down here, really, you gotta sit there with a mask on. You can't eat food or nothing. But anyway, I gotta watch this movie on the big screen. I mean, I'm looking yeah, forward yeah. to it. That should be alright. Shit, man. That's that's deep, man. Making you wear that mask for two hours and a half hours and I no know, food, no bro. drink. <clears throat> no, no, I listen. Like, I like going to the cinema, but I like my popcorn and drink and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. Listen, it's gonna be dark. I'm just gonna pull the mask down, man. I'll fucking breathe some normal air, man. Sitting <laughs> there with fucking. Anyway, I don't want to complain about right, Singapore cool. government. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah. So that was good, man. People ki- check out Kibbs's uh, non spoiler review for uh, Suicide Squad. That should be uh, looking forward to that one. Definitely. Cool. All right. Let's jump into this week's news anyway, man. Netflix making a live action Pokemon series. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, um, you know, did you watch the movie? You watched Pokemon? Yeah, yeah, right? I watched the one with uh, Ryan Reynolds. That was good. But yeah, I wonder if they'll pick the same, like, make Ryan Reynolds. I mean, they got the money to pay him, so I wonder if they'll, you know, keep him in there and whatnot. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not crazy. I was a crazy Pokemon fan when I was young. Uh, I remember yeah. fucking running home from school to watch it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess I'll watch it. Depends how it is, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, man, I enjoyed that movie. I'm, I'm at that era of... Uh, I'm I'm not a Pokemon fan, and I, I I know of it. I'm I'm more of a fish than all star guy, and my wait, my, wait, my wait. stuff. I, I, no, let's not let's not try and let's not try and say something. I, I'm I'm a fish than all star dude as well, but I just watch Pokemon. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, now, nah, bro, it's such a big franchise, bro. It's such a it's a humongous, bro. You know. I think N- Nintendo just exploded with that, bro. I think about that game that they brought out as well. How how do you know the Pokemon Go thing? I mean, I don't play yeah. it, but how revolutionary was that when you're just getting the real world environment involved Bro, in game absolutely mad absolutely mad so like trust me I, it'd be a good show bro i, I enjoyed the the movie i think it was perfect i think they they casted the right people ryan reynolds as the voice was just brilliant so it yeah. works really well you know what i mean so but yeah. that was because he wasn't pikachu cute pikachu he was Ryan Reynolds, Pikachu. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends what they do and how they do this show. It depends, but I'm, you know what? I'm sure it will be, it'll be really good. Yeah, it should be good. And they got that kid from uh, the Beatdown. Remember that program, the the, the music one? Did you ever yeah, watch yeah, that yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only yeah. watched first two episodes. I need to actually catch up on it again. Oh my god, you never watched the whole thing? It was pretty no. good, man. I mean, yeah. it was like the start of like hip hop and yeah. the Bronx and and all that sort of stuff. It was actually really cool. Um, but yeah, let, let's see how that goes. I mean, I'll watch it. I guess, you know, if it's fun to watch, I'll watch the Pokemon show. No, definitely. Make it. Definitely. Uh, Hawkeye image came out, bro. We're getting it on the 24th of November. Right, man. we got a lot going on, bro. Bro, someone made a tweet or, or an Instagram thing saying, when um, What If comes out, we're going to have a Marvel content every week to the end of the year. How amazing is that? Because it's just going to transition from one to one. But it's literally what we were discussing. We're going to have something Marvel every week. Because I think this year we got What If, Shang-Chi, uh, you got Eternals, you got Spider-Man. And in between those, you got Hawkeye, Hawkeye. show. And then um, uh, Miss Marvel. Like, all of that is coming out during this. During And I, you know what I was thinking about the other day, bro? Yeah. So they introduced us to Kang the Conqueror. Obviously yeah. pulling them the the... Um, the one who remains, he who remains. One who remains, he who remains. Bro, so they've introduced him. And as far as I know, his next appearance will be in Ant-Man 3 as Kang the Conqueror. Mm-hmm. So think about that, man. It's like a, like you're going to give us so much shit in between that. Like you've introduced him now. You're going to give us so much within the universe in between that. And then I don't even know when Ant-Man's coming out. Is it next year or the year after? Then you're going to bring year him back. after, yeah. How, how good is that, man? How good is that with character building? It's like no wasting, like they don't like force him. It's like, oh no, here's a little sneak peek. Of, and, you, and that wasn't even Kang the Conqueror. Like that was just the one who remains. Um, but we're going to get some. But I love the way they plan things, man. I don't know what it is, but the way they plan things is amazing. There's no rush. You know what I mean? Like, no, of course, of course. It's good, it's good, it's good. Uh, but yeah, what are we talking about? Yeah, Hawkeye, anyway, what do you think of the images? Yeah, yeah, so far so good, bro. It's good to see Jeremy Rayner back. 
as a clip button. It'd be, it'd be good to see uh, where it goes and where the story heads to, because I know that's going to have the link from Black Widow. So that gives you gives us a little bit more hype and enjoyment to to see what the show is going to be about. I know the rumors of Kingpin being in it is I'm mm. not sure. I mean, nothing's been confirmed, but it, it sounds really good. Uh, Do you think Marvel were just Marvel were just maybe they're just rumors, but let's not even go there, man. Each one of these shows so far has had a rumor. Mystique, <laughs> Mystique, blah, blah, blah. at least yeah. this one was right. Kang the Conqueror was right. Um, yeah. But um, Mephisto, but Mephisto one killed it, yeah. bro, man. That one was the best one ever, bro. Everyone was expecting him so much. But then, what'd you call it? Let's see, man. Listen, man, they should bring that Kingpin back, man. Like, we need, uh, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it until those movies come out. No, exactly, exactly. Uh, I mean, let's jump into it, man. What's this about Marvel's uh, unannounced Disney, Disney Plus shows? Nine unannounced shows, man. That's what they're saying. So, obviously, Hawkeye, She Hulk, She Hulk. We know about Miss Marvel. There's all these other rumors about other ones like Ghost Rider, The Punisher, Daredevils, all this sort of stuff. I don't know what they're gonna do, but apparently there's nine of them, bro. Bloody uh, hell. They're they're on it. Bro. And that'd be good if they do the X-Men, bro, and do it that way. <sighs> That's I think one of the rumors as well. Um, you know, and you don't even have to do all the X-Men, you could just do it slowly, slowly, like yeah, that's what I'm saying. yeah. And- yeah whatever and if they could tell the right story i mean look with the multiverse open you could just bring it in in different multiverse you know what i mean you could tell us these disney plus shows could be different multiverses and whatnot um so i don't know man but nine shows come on man that's sick proper proper so like i said we're gonna have so much marvel content every day every week well, listen bro like we we it's four and a half months away from spider-man no uh, uh no way home and we haven't got a trailer, bro. So I'm thinking, Sony, don't even drop a trailer. Fuck off. Yeah, let's just go in there and not know what the fuck is going on, which is good. Yeah. I think that's a great marketing thing because that is selling itself, bro, because you've got cinemas in the States putting up fan artwork to promote the movie. And then, you bro. know, the hype from social media and just in general. I bro, I guarantee you, if they put the trailer up on Disney+, Plus. Or even in the cinemas and say, hey, we're going to charge you £3 to watch it. I guarantee you, bro, they're making a billion dollars just for the fucking trailer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People are so moist over the trailer. I, like, and there's so much rumours about it of getting this trailer released. They, I, they can make a couple of million on it if they wanted to just release it on a Disney Plus or whatever and say you're going to pay for it. Some people, and including myself, might end up just paying for it. Um, well, they but... can't do a Disney Plus anyway. There's so much drama going on there. But we'll get on that in a bit. Yeah, but it's I'm a just Sony saying, entity, uh, isn't it? So Sony yeah. are going to take over that. But still, I mean, look, the trailer might come soon, though. The trailer might come soon because, um, like I said, the multiverse is open, and I don't know. We'll see. I'm not even waiting for the trailer. I'm just gonna when it comes, I'll be shocked, and we'll just wait for that. Mm. No, I mean, I suppose we just got to see how it goes from there, man, uh, and see what happens there. Uh, I'm just going through a list before we jump on the main topic. Kevin Smith, man, just quick touch base on still getting it. Upsetting, man. So upsetting. He should ignore that shit straight up. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the internet, man, you bastards. You bastards. Anyway, it is what it is. But yeah, my feed, man, I think it was like Tuesday or Wednesday. And I'm going through YouTube and I'm just checking my feed and I'm like, bloody hell. So many people are trying to make so many. I, I, I stopped clicking on them because I don't. Well, I didn't even, to be honest with you, I didn't click on a single one. I just watched Kevin Smith's podcast. Yeah, yeah. No, and so then all the other ones came up. I don't want to, I don't, I'm not clicking so, on a single one of them. No, I don't click on it, bro, because it's cash cows, isn't it? All of them lot are doing it because they know it's a hot topic and they make money off it. So it's a shame. Shame on you guys. Shame on you guys. You guys said you guys. I, I know this is bad and, and this is my opinion, guys. I'm, I'm not saying anything. Uh, people are cash cows. Uh, they know they're going to make money off a topic. So if it's hot topic, hot gossip, then people are going to make money off the algorithm, which is the, which at the end of the day is business. Business is business. Uh, whether they care about it or not, it's, it's a money cash cow because my feed was looking ridiculous, bro. Everybody's talking about it. There are people on there that are not even fans talking about it. You know what I mean? So that's how you know it's cash cows, bro. And you got a lot of people on here that are not fans of that industry. Mm. So, you know, anyway, that's just, guys, shame. I'm not trying yeah. to, that's just from my, my, my opinion, my biased opinion. 
my 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 thoughts on it. But I think a lot of you guys are not fans. I think a lot of you lot are based on ne- negativity and your cash cows. You're gonna grab and make money off it. You know what I mean? If I was making bro a uh, thousand pound a pot off the podcast, I'll be talking all sorts of negative shit just to invite people in, isn't it? But it's well, not we could us. Do. We could do. We we spoke about that a while ago, right? Like fucking changing things and whatnot to, to suit the audience. Nah, man, we, we talk how we talk. We yeah. give our thoughts how we give our thoughts and fuck, like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like even, we don't even edit shit, you know? You no, press exactly. You and we go, you know what I mean? There's no transitions and whatnot, man. Our videos, really, like, just keep it normal, man, because we don't need to, this is us just expressing ourselves. Um, but I don't know. I don't give a fuck about them, to be honest. I just give. I just care about Kevin Smith, and I'm just like, dude, you're like I said before, you're too much of a legend to be listening to that shit and commenting on it. Uh, you should just be moved on. And I feel I, I'm waiting for the new podcast. I don't know if they got one out this week, but I'm waiting for. Uh, I hope he just doesn't carry on with it. I hope he's just like, yeah, I'm moved on to the next thing. I hope so because it's too much of a legend. Legend to give a shit about that. No, it's true. It's very true. Very true. Very true. All right, cool, man. Let's get on to the main subject, man. And it's causing a ripple effect through Hollywood at the moment now. Mm. Bloody hell, man. I can't believe it, man. The movie hasn't been out like a couple of weeks and it's already caused some drama. So, Scarlett Johansson sues Disney Plus for releasing it on stream. Some mm. conflict of contracts. Bear monies, bear monies. It's all about monies at the end of the day. It's business. Business is business, guys. Well, uh, you got to pay her, man. Think about it. If you got to think about it from her, I mean, look, I, I don't know the full details, obviously, but you got to think about it from her perspective. Nobody, okay, nobody knew the pandemic was going to happen, right? So in her contract, it was most probably like, you know, whatever, you will release it in cinema, whatever the gross is, you're going to get a percentage of that. That's hmm. most probably what it is. And then the pandemic, pandemic happens, they stop shit. And then they released the movie finally in cinema, but then also they got this Disney Plus thing. And that was probably never in her contract at all, because that was probably never in the ideas anyway to release like big blockbuster movies on this streaming platform. But um, it was never in her contract. But maybe, you know, so I, I kind of I feel for her, man. It's like, well, you did take away some viewers probably, and you mm. gained everything. Everything you get through Disney Plus, you gain mm. plus subscribers and all that sort of shit. So maybe they should have released it a couple months later or whatever, a couple weeks later. Um, well, not that. Yeah, I think like, they should have just had it, you know. Yeah, they should have released it a couple of months later and put it up just, on Disney. Just tell Scarlett, hey, we're going to redo your contract. Whatever you make from Plus, we're going to give you some. Like, come on, man, Disney, man. You got all the money in the world, man. Just pay her. It's that's actually quite silly that it's that that this sort of thing's happening because I was watching another video. Uh, can't remember the guy's name, but comic book something. Anyway, uh, he's talking about Kevin Spy. The people are thinking Kevin Feige gonna leave, bro. Kevin Feige is upset, bro. I saw that too. He he made a comment saying he's not happy with that and Disney need to make it right. I bro, they can't get rid of him. They they can't, bro. He's too much of an asset. He's too much of an asset. He's going to DC, it. guys. He's going to Warner oh, Brothers. Oh, Could you imagine he's that? He's going shit? to Warner Brothers. <laughs> hey, you know what though? That won't be a bad thing for Warner, like for DC shit. At least we might be uh yeah. we'll get some amazing stuff there. No, they won't let him go, yeah. but he made it, you know, it's good for him to stick up for her and say, look, they, they need to make that right. And you know what? They can make it right. Just pay her the monies. Like, mm. what's so hard about saying, hey, we made a mistake. Here's 50 million. What's 50 million out of freaking when you got billions of billions, bro? You're going to pay 75 billion for fucking Fox and everything. You can't just give Scarlett Johansson a couple of mil. Yeah. Like, what's the matter with you lot, man? Um, but that makes a sour you- taste for somebody who worked with the company for so long. And it was her last movie as well, man. Like, let her go in peace, man. You know what I'm saying? Like proper sour taste, man. It's like I oh, saw man. something about um, uh, Emma Stone. I don't know if this was true though, but I saw something about her talking about Corella Deville being yep. released in that as well. And she's like, she's thinking about opening up a case. And I wonder if that's true. I don't know if that's true or not. But well, I've seen it on the on online. Everybody's talking about it. Uh, uh, the Rock, Emily Blunt, because of Jungle Cruise, same thing as well. Same uh, thing. Oh shit. Okay. I thought, well, that's good now, but the thing is, though, for, for the future actors and future movies with all platforms, not just Disney+, Plus, they're going to um, add that into their contracts. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, of course they will, bro. Of course they will. This is new. This is new now. This is this streaming thing is a, is a new thing, and releasing big big movies on the streaming, streaming platform is, is, is new as well. So I think now they're going to be like, okay, listen, 
this is the contract. Whatever the revenue makes in the cinema and whatever you make from the streaming platform, I want a piece of that. Um, so, yeah, man. I don't know, man. It's deep. I feel bad for her, man. Hopefully she she gets... They can make it right, man. Make it right. Don't let it be freaking sour, man. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, bro. Like, she worked a good part of her life on those movies, bro. You know what I mean? That's a decade, bro. Freaking hell. That's a decade, man. How you bump somebody like that, man? Uh, it's deep. It's deep. But then, I don't know. It's a, it's under new management, right? It's not Bob is Iger it? no more, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that stuff, bro. So I think something dropped. Let me check. I'll be right back. All right. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's my thoughts. I think okay. if, yeah, I mean, they just got to pay her, man. You got all the money in the world. Give her the monies. Don't, don't freaking let her go like that. That's, that's unfair. Uh, but yeah, I think moving forward, man, that's going to be the new contracts. People, oh. um, just adding that in uh and it's a bit sneaky from disney man I'm freaking so sneaky man billion 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 dollars and you're still playing sneaky games just to make an extra couple of mil or whatnot you know what i mean <laughs> for real though right um <laughs> it, it's, it's it's jokes man it's, it's like it's like a couple of mil will affect your bank no man it won't affect nothing um so hopefully she wins and they they get make, they make it right and like i said kevin feige if he's upset and he's like they need to make it right then they, they need to make it right, man. Like, they can't lose him. Or they won't lose him. I don't think it will go, but come on. Make that shit right. Pay yeah, no, no, no. Just pay the monies, man. Shut your mouths and do it, man. Uh, it's, hot, it's hard to hear that, though. It's, it's like, oh, my God, I can't believe she's... she's and, and she has all the right to do it, but it's hard to hear. Like, why, why would you look fuck her over like that, man? After all these years. Yeah, it's a hard one, bro. Definitely a hard one. It's not one expected. Definitely. That just kind of mm. threw me off. Uh, but guys, uh, while we're still on the subject, uh, Disney Plus, man. So there's a cause of ripple effect because I've seen other people now online talking about uh, streaming uh, services and what's going to happen. And yeah, man, it's full on at the moment, man. Full on, full on, full on. But, yeah, I uh, mean, didn't it start with... There was something on Warner Brothers that it started off, man. Um, HBO, isn't it? Remember? HBO with uh, which one? Christopher Nolan was like, he wasn't happy with all the stuff going up onto HBO. Then uh, the guy who, uh, Daniel Van Sutton, who directed uh, The New June, is not happy that it's going to go onto HBO. You know what I mean? It's it's it's, it's very difficult because even with uh, The Suicide Squad, what's going to happen, bro? Next week, it goes out in cinema, but it's coming out on HBO as well. So it's like, you're giving people that choice to not go out. And like, listen, man, I love the senior cinema experience. That's my thing. I want to be there, yeah. big screen talk. Even if I'm in the neck breakers, Warner Brothers, you messed me up, put me in the neck breakers on the IMAX screen. I was like, bare emerged into it. We watched um, uh, Apocalypto like that, right in the front, in the corner. We're like this. We were in the corner. <laughs> oh, it was ridiculous. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, go on, sorry. So, yeah, like, but it doesn't bother me. You know, I still got to see it on the big screen. I still got to get emerged in it. But it's like, given the, the option is, of HBO, it's, it's, it's quite difficult. People are going to be lazy and they're going to be like, ah, oh, just watch it. Uh, you know what I mean? And the, the thing is, it's like COVID, they're saying, you know, during COVID and whatnot, that killed so many businesses and you had to uh, evolve and, and, and uh, uh, what's the word, uh, innovate and whatnot, which is cool. But man, you, now you're killing the cinema business. You are the cinema business. And now yeah. you're killing the cinema business with these tactics. Why not let it come out in cinema? And maybe, um, I don't know, a couple of weeks later. Like, why not have a strategy of like two weeks later, we're going to bring out on thing or three weeks later. You know what I mean? Like by then, if you haven't watched it in cinema, you, it's probably spoiled the shit out of you all over Instagram. Or whatnot. So, you know, it's still kind of making, you know what I mean? Like, and if you're willing to take that risk and wait for HBO or wait for the streaming service, then go for it. But not at the same time. I think I think they're also killing the cinema industry with, by doing this. Um, cinema is supposed to be, you know, they, the whole movie thing is about cinema, man, the experience and whatnot. So I can understand some of these directors as well. They probably make these movies specifically for the cinema and I'm at screening and all this sort of stuff. Uh, and now you're ruining you're ruining some of that experience, man. They Excuse need to me. figure it out. I feel I feel like do you know what though? I feel like this is new, so they're gonna figure it out. And there's gonna be a couple of lawsuits, people unhappy, and then they'll figure it out. Where it's like, all right, cool, we're gonna bring it out in cinemas, and then maybe a couple of weeks later, two three weeks later, not too long after, we'll bring it out on the streaming service. So it kind of you know still encourages people to go cinema, 
Um, and if you haven't gone by then, then you'll come out on the streaming service. I hope they work something out like that. I hope so too. I hope so too, definitely. Oh man, we have got some great success on our first giveaway on Twitter, guys. So I want to make sure uh, you guys check it out. If you guys are listening, I've got it on for two weeks. I'm giving away the Man of Steel making book and a Batman mug. It's on our Twitter page, The Brothers Geek Out. Make sure you go check it out. We've got loads of new followers, uh, loads of new people joining in and make sure they check out the content as well. So check it out. So I'm going to start doing more giveaways on Twitter. I'm not going to do it on YouTube until the YouTube count grows and we get a bit more interaction on the channel. Uh, I did get a comment on the TikTok uh, video the other day, which was quite uh, funny uh, about Masters of the Universe. Some guy, he was going in on our post, bro. He was like, no, Is it's it? a she-man of the universe and blah, blah, blah. He was crying, bro, just crying. I was just edging him on a little bit, but I, I had to be a nice guy oh. and left it. What was that on, on, on YouTube or? That's on TikTok. That's on TikTok. Oh, really? Okay, okay. So the podcast goes fully up on the podcast on on. Uh, no, no, no. I, or, I just put clips, clips. Yeah. I see. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah. So the guy yeah. was going in. I know he was abusing us, but it's like it is what it is. Yeah. Well, I don't okay. give a fuck about that either. <laughs> but, you know, it was funny though. Show. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Listen, man. It is what it is. Uh, well, yeah. you know what, though? Maybe you can, some, from some perspective, like I said, remember X-Men when they came out, we were fucking shitting all over it and we were talking about fuck, fuck. But, and- but bro, I, I eventually, after 20 years, like even watching them now, yes, it's not my X-Men. Yeah, I could sit down and actually watch the film for the film. Yeah, that's because I've got, I've got older now because I've had to adapt. Because, bro, listen, first Captain America, I didn't like you know, some of those movies at first I didn't like until watching them, watching them, watching them and be like, oh, you know what? Now I understand that things have to change when they go on the big screen. Mm. X-Men was still one of those ones where it was a bit iffy until it got to Days of Future Past. And I was like, hold up. Well, the way I see it is like they've given us so much X-Men, right? They did give us a lot. Mm. I'm just going to pick and choose the ones I want to watch. Lo- yeah. uh, Logan, Days of Future Past, and first maybe class. X-Men 2. First class, yeah, maybe, yeah. X Men Two is all X-Men right, yeah. 2. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would never watch the first one again. I would never watch the third one, the <laughs> Phoenix one. I'll never watch Age of Apocalypse oh. one they did. Oh my god! Oh. Right. So, from that perspective, I'm gonna cast them still, but I can pick and choose which ones I want to watch. Yeah, yeah. Logan will probably be the the one I'll watch more yeah. often because that was probably the best one. Um, but still, you know. Um, you know, fuck people, man. Let them talk. Man. Say what the <laughs> fuck. I don't give a fuck. Man. I don't give a fuck. Man. I've got other stresses on my life that's fucking me up. I don't need, I don't give a shit about what other people got to say. People talk shit about me all the time. I don't care. Fuck yeah, me. same, same. Agreed, agreed, agreed. It is what it is, guys. Sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words will never, is that how it goes? Yeah, yeah, but that's not true anymore, man. Words are fucking hurting people. No, fair, yeah. <laughs> you get cancelled for saying fucking words, bro. It used to be, that's what I'm saying. The generation we grew up with was sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Now it's like words will get me fired and shit. People want to see me die. <laughs> you need to be it's true, you know. You gotta be careful of what you put up on Facebook, Twitter, because work will be on your case, bros. You know what I mean? Bro, Tyson made a comment saying like. The internet has made people brave because you say shit and not have worried to get about getting punched in the face. Um, you know what I'm saying? So no, people are not worried again about the sticks and stones part. And words <laughs> are actually, I think words are actually worse now because, like I say, like oh, it is, say it is. It's quite sad. It's quite sad because it's I culture. And shit. Yeah, it's that as well. And there's another guy that I follow on TikTok, which is pretty good. Uh, is Straw Hat Goofy, uh, his name is, and he does movie reviews and stuff like that. And you know what? Great content because he has great ideas about uh, theories about Marvel, DC, and the movies he watches. And he puts some good movies up on there. But people abuse him in the comments sometimes, bro, because, you know, when Captain America and, and Winter Soldier came out, uh, Captain America and, and uh, White Wolf, is it White Wolf? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the new one, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. White Wolf, right? I'm not yeah, it's the white. Well, they didn't call it. I mean, the show's not called that, but yeah, they mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. White Wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he, uh, you know, because of the race and everything, and how you know how it was going on, he was getting abused and ripped up on, on TikTok. But then you know you start to see these guys start get showing their emotions online 
crying and all sorts. And it's like, oh, man, I never seen that before, man. What the hell is know. going Wait, on? What did, he, what did he say? What did, what did he say to trigger people? <clears throat> what was his thoughts? Because it was more of a, it was more, of, it was more based on what happened with, uh, you know, they filmed during a time where racism was quite a big thing. Mm. So they changed mm. the story a bit to move around to that as well. So he was talking about uh, Elijah's part and, you know, how bad it was for this guy to go through what he was going through because he was black. People were abusing the shit out of him online. But it's true, though. <laughs> I mean, we did go through a sensitive time. Well, it's, uh, racism is a sensitive time all the time anyway. But yeah, exactly. last year obviously exploded because of the whole George Floyd situation. And then that show really did, did fit in. I mean, obviously it gave um, empowerment to a black Captain America and being accepted. But also it had to touch on the fact that are people going to accept a black Captain America exactly. and have to face the realities of what happened to Elijah? Because you, because like we said, like, in, in the reality of that cinematic, of that universe, Steve Rogers was obviously the pure, a very pure hearted guy. Now, if he knew anything about Elijah, he would have stopped everything and gone to help. Exactly. But obviously he was in the ice at that time anyway, I think. Mm. But, um, and he, when he handed the shield to, um, to uh, the fucking Falcon, he didn't, he, again, he's so pure. He was like, I know you're the best man for the job. Not thinking and they, they acknowledge it in the show where Bucky says, like, we had we we didn't even have any idea how it would be for black, for someone mm. who is black, because they're so pure in heart. So that was just a reality. It's not, you know, certain indiv individuals like Steve Rogers would give him the shield and say, you're the best man for the job, whether it's the reality of the planet or the world or the country, <clears throat> wouldn't see that way. Um, so, yeah, it touched on something that's true. I mean, it, it did, it did, bro. It did, but, yeah. People, man, the internet, as we said, man. I let people be, bro. Let people be. It's always exactly. going to be that way. Listen. Yeah, fuck them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them. Who says that? Fuck them if they can't take a joke. Um, where was that from? Broken Arrow, I think. Broken Arrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Broken Arrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. All right. So, guys, now that we're going to be introducing more to the channel, yeah? So, yes, all the podcasts will be on the Brothers Geek Out podcast page now. I'm going to start bringing back trailer reactions. I'm going to start bringing back uh, uh, retro trailer reactions on the channel as well. Uh, we haven't done one gonna... of those in ages. Yeah, no, I think I think personally... we were. You know what? We uh, sorry, sorry to cut you, bro, but you know what? We were getting a few requests and we never followed up with it. That's basic on our side, man. No, no, of course. Uh... And that's why I wanted to change it up. That's why I was like... Because I'm moving away from the Kibla Armored Art page, I want to be able to do these ones on there what happened bro the sneeze loser i lost it I, I, I hate losing a sneeze man i just want to get it out and i fucking lost it anyway go on. yeah so we're gonna get all them back up on this page so you'll get to see the brothers geek out podcast the brothers geek out's reactions and the brothers geek out uh, retro reactions. so definitely we're gonna jump back on some old we trailers should, some old fighting yeah. scenes get back on yeah, there but we should react to those but we're gonna do something different sketches. yeah comedy sketches we're gonna do something different where so that we're basically we're starting off this channel clean so that I don't have no issues, no copyright issues, no none of that. So what we will do on our reactions, and it's just a thought, we're gonna give it a go see how it is. We're gonna have to do silent reactions. So the video will play in mute, but we're gonna have to commentate on it. Okay. What well, is there is there copyright issues when it when yeah, it comes on? I mean everyone else yeah. does it, is it? Yeah, yeah, there's always copyright issues, you get slashed and I just feel like it messes up with the algorithm. So I want to try something different, but we'll give it a go. But yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. All right. Because normally, the would they, would they have a reaction? you gotta you got to put the volume on, right? So the users can listen to what you're listening yeah. to and then you react. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, we'll, uh, let's talk about that anyway, because I feel like that might be a bad experience for the user. Well, let's see. Now, there let's are see. Some, some channels are doing it uh, only because the main companies end up taking the revenue for it. That's why. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right. Yeah. Well. Well, let's give it a go anyway. But all right, cool. All right, man. Uh, massive thank you to everybody joining into the show. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome. Make sure you check out the Brothers Geek Out podcast YouTube page in the link below. Uh, and make sure you're following us on all social media, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure you check it out. G-Man, thanks again for joining us again today. Cool. And uh, yeah, massive, massive shout out to everybody. Have a wonderful week, man. Mondays, it's gonna come out Mondays. Mondays, Mondays. I think we're gonna stick with the show, but or Sunday evenings. I think Sunday evenings is the best time. I feel like, but let's give it a go. All right, see how it goes, man. Peace. All right, bro. Take care of yourself, man. One love. Peace. Peace.